G'day Grooveheads, Ben here. My coworker Mary uploaded some code to the Opto22 forums to control a Belkin Wemo Wi-Fi outlet switch from Pack Control. Now I thought that was pretty cool. So I went and bought a, uh, an outlet switch and then downloaded her strategy and imported it into the Softpack strategy that's running on well, my house here. And so what it enables me to do is some pretty simple automation. Things like I can turn the outlet on when it gets dark and then turn it off just before I go to bed. But what of course, the other thing it does is really cool is it enables me to be able to control the outlet from Groove. So here I've built a pretty simple button on a screen where I can turn the outlet on and off from my cell phone, from my smartphone here. So what it enables me to do now is I can combine this switch with all my other existing outlets. So uh, here I've got uh, a Philips Hue and I can uh, control the Hue lights and the Belkin Wemo all from the same interface through Groove. And, uh, and that's pretty cool, being able to have everything all combined on the one interface. I don't have to go through different apps to control the different lights. So let's take a look how easy it is to add a button for the Wemo to Groove and we're going to do that by uh, going over here to the kitchen computer. So here we are at pretty much the main house computer. It's, a, uh, it's in the kitchen here and everyone uses it. What it actually is, is a, it's a Samsung Chromebox. Now remember, Groove will work on any modern web browser. Chromebox, of course, has Google Chrome as its uh, browser. So what I've done is I've already removed the Belkin Wemo button from both the, the mobile view and also from the PC view so that I can show you how easy it is to add it back in. Let's do that now. So we go up here, click on the gear icon and switch to Groove Build. And uh, we can see the two different views here. Here's the desktop and tablet and here's the handheld. So now we grab our button and we drag and place our button gadget on the screen and we connect it to a tag. So it's in my soft pack strategy, it's a numeric variable and Mary called the tag Wemo on off. And that's it, we've connected it. Let's give it just a, a simple label here and we know that the light is like a, a goldy color when it turns on. Now I can change the size and the location in the handheld view and it's completely different from the desktop view. So I can set up the two views to look and feel exactly the way I want. Once that's done, we can simply file, save all changes and switch to Groove view. So here it is on the PC. All I need to do here is refresh my view on the mobile phone and we're up and running. That's how easy it is. So now on my smartphone, I can turn the light on or off and of course it gets reflected on the PC view and I can also turn it off or on on the PC and it gets reflected on the, uh, on the mobile view. So pretty groovy. Thanks for watching. Cheers, mate.